Are you a comic book fan trying to get your own kids into comic books? Or are you maybe just a parent who wants their kid to get into something besides the screen? Well, I'm here to help. Here's my list of best indie all ages comic books from last year. And coming in at number five is Zeta the Space Girl. Zeta's life took a cosmic left turn in the blink of an eye. When her best friend is abducted by an alien doomsday cult, Zeta leaps to the rescue and finds herself a stranger on a strange planet. Humanoid chickens and neurotic robots are shocking enough as new experiences Go. But Zeta is even more surprised to find herself taking on the role of intergalactic hero. Before long, aliens in all shapes and sizes don't even phase her. Neither do ancient prophecies, doomed planets, or even a friendly con man who takes a mysterious interest in Zeta's quest. Zeta the Space Girl is a fun, captivating tale of friendship and redemption. Now coming in at number four on my list is going to be Punk Rock Ninja. Punk Rock Ninja is a creator-owned story about a young girl named Sheena who's a bass player in a punk rock band. And after her bass is stolen by a shady corporation, she goes on a mission to get it back. And while she's on her mission fighting robots and escaping guards, she's also learning to be true to herself along the way. And ultimately, that's what this story is about. Following your dreams and remaining true to yourself along the way and growing as a person. Coming in at number three on the list is going to be Action Tank from Scout Comics. Action Tank is a full color blockbuster and this is a perfect jumping on point. While it's technically volume two, you don't have to have read volume one to enjoy this one. This is an action packed series with spaceships, galactic warlords, robot henchmen, a brief history of Neptune, the solar system's favorite talking unicorn, and a courageous human boy who's been trying to get home in time for his mom's spaghetti carbonara. Coming in at number two on my list is another one from Scout Comics called Beningo. At least I think that's how you pronounce it. I've had a lot of trouble pronouncing this one. The tranquility of Beningo's life is shattered by Rodolfo, the cruel mayor of Santa Ana. In a single night, Beningo's family is torn from him, and the magic his grandmother used to protect him does not go as planned. It summons something no one expected, the spirit of a long-dead philosopher who takes up residence in Beningo's belly and waits to emerge and guide him. By the light of the spirit's lantern, Beningo must follow the winding and treacherous road through forests, across rivers, and to the top of smoky volcanoes if he has any hope of escape. And now taking the top spot at best independent kids comic from last year in 2023 is going to be the Moth Keeper. Anya is finally a Moth Keeper, the protector of the lunar months that allow the night lily flower to bloom once a year. Her village needs the flower to continue thriving, and Anya is excited to prove her worth and show her thanks to her friends with her actions. But what happens when being a Moth Keeper isn't exactly what Anya thought it would be? Night after night, it is lonely in the desert, with only one lantern for light. Still, Anya is eager to prove her worth, to show her thanks to her friends and her village. But is it worth the cost? And yet something isn't right. When Anya glimpses the one thing that could destroy what she's meant to protect, her village and the lunar moths are left to deal with the consequences. And we're left to find out what happens when a moth keeper sees the sun for the first time. These are all great options if you're trying to get kids into comic books. And if you want to check any of them out for yourself, you can find links to all of them down in the description below. And now that you've got some choices for the kids, if you need some choices for the grown-ups, you can find some in this video right here.